So you know Roblox, right? Well, of course you do. Games like Piggy, Rainbow Friends, and Pizza Simulator, everyone knows about them, with some of those games even having more visits than the entire human race. Wow, guys. But however, an entire genre of games that you might not know about are the various ripoffs and clones of these Roblox games on the mobile app store. Yeah, so even though Roblox is completely free, that hasn't stopped developers from just copy and pasting Roblox games into their own product. So today, I'm gonna be going on the app store and look at popular Roblox games that aren't on Roblox. So without further ado, let's take a look at some bland Roblox game ripoffs. So for the first game, let's take a look at Blue Monster Chapter. Wait, which chapter? Chapter 1? 2? I guess we'll never know. Now, interestingly enough, I actually already talked about a Rainbow Friend game back in the Halloween video. So this game will be sort of similar, but whatever. Reading the description, the game says, Welcome to the playground of the Blue Monster, where many scary monsters and bad toys are waiting for you, and someone is waiting for you too. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. Let's find out secrets together while enjoying a scary time. Happy time. Huh. And as for the ratings, this one only has two that rounds up to a 3.5. So after telling me it was made in Unity, I was now in the menu, to which I went to the guide button saying, to escape and win, you need to find all the toys before the rainbow can find you. Yeah, so unsurprisingly, this game is just one of the eight pages, as you need to collect certain objects in order to win. These objects range from toy hammers to Rubik's cubes and megaphones. Okay, so, sounds pretty easy, right? Well, as you're about to see, this game was kind of unplayable. Why? This is as far as your camera can move. So for some godforsaken reason, the sensitivity in this game is super low, making something as basic as turning a corner really hard to do. And of course, there's my man, Bluey. Why is he yellow? His AI in this game is about as basic as you can expect as he locks me down no matter how far away I am from him, continues to run in place, and what have you. He's also really slow too, but because of the god dang sensitivity, he would always kill me. And not only that, if your Wi-Fi is turned on while you're playing, you'll be getting ads during gameplay, which is extremely tedious and evil. But yeah, that's about all this game has to offer. Now, had the sensitivity actually been higher, then this game might have been... okay? Eh? But as it stands right now, this game is next to unplayable. So, I'll be going on the second game now. The second game on my list is Scary Cheese Escape Game, which, holy crap, has over a thousand ratings. And just like Blue Monster Chapter, I've actually already reviewed this game in my Roblox video. However, if you think that judging from the title and thumbnail that this is a game from Roblox, you are sorely mistaken, because you and I have been clickbaited. See, despite the fact that this game claims to be from Roblox, which is already dumb enough, but once you get in the game, it's absolutely nothing like the game it ripped off. And instead is this Tom and Jerry-esque game where you're a mouse and you have to run away from a spooky cat. In the description, the game states that welcome to scary cheese game where you can run and escape obstacles with a big attention to the cat. Excellent interface and HD graphics, very easy to play. And somehow all the reviews of the game made it round to a 4.4. But unsurprisingly, the reviews are pretty upset, saying things like crackhead game, clickbait, and this one review saying scary cheese mouse game rests are? Rest are? What? And that's it. No, I'm being for real. There's nothing else to talk about with this. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool to double jump and have a cat run in place, but this isn't what I asked for. I thought this was a Roblox game and you gave me this possibly even worse game. So let's just move on before I bore myself out talking about this. What a strange game. The third game we're going to be playing is Doors Obby, which, if you didn't know, it is from Doors. Wow. Scrolling down in the description, it says, Play this insane Doors Horror. You've got a perfect opportunity to find yourself in the height of Doors Horror. And the fear will never leave you with cool ambience, creepy sounds, in the Doors Horror net, blah blah blah, and so on. And just like the last game, this one has a 4.4 with over 700 ratings. With the reviews being mixed saying either better than Roblox, or bad game, make this better, and manned. I'm not gonna lie, I gotta agree with that one. Which is understandable considering that this is literally just the Doors game for Roblox. There's very little innovation that the creator put in. There's the exact same rooms, same monsters, same mechanics, and what have you. And you know how in the Rainbow game how the sensitivity was too low? This one is, well, too janky. 
And plus, there's a bunch of other problems too, like multiple ads, the monsters being glitched, and no sound. In comparison with the Roblox game how you need to press a button to grab something, this one has you press anywhere you want and puts it in a really crappy inventory. One new interesting thing is how you can walk in the closet without it controlling you, but that's about the only good thing that this game has done. And also, halfway through, the game broke, as I needed a key in order to unlock this door, and when I did get the key, it still didn't open. But even if I did, I imagine this game wouldn't be much different from the original. So once more, let's just move on. And the final game that I'll be looking at is P.I.G. Lost in Carnival. Run from the scary P.I.G. Huh. So, as you might have guessed, this game takes place in the carnival map on Piggy. But instead of doing things like grabbing keys, you instead grab letters to fit a word and then escape to a secret room. And looking at the description, there appears to be a storyline. We had an outage power in Carnival, and we lost our little piggy. Oh look, they spelt it right this time. You need to help the doggy police to solve the puzzles and find her using a flashlight with batteries. Wait, who's her? Piggy or the doggy? I don't really know. Well, at least we have a bit of lore. The only issue is that, what's the point? You're basing this game off of another game that already has a story. But whatever, let's just get started, shall we? And wow, look at the spooky Peppa Pig model. So after the dog gives us some tips, we are now put into the game. For some reason, they have once again ruined the sensitivity. Instead of being too low or stiff, you now can't even look up or down. Yay. This makes it really annoying since a lot of the letters you need to grab are no longer visible once you get close enough. You also have this flashlight here that runs out of battery after a while. And the way to recharge it is by grabbing another torch off the floor. Oh, and you know how these trees in the map how players can't get on it? Well, not anymore. Reading the reviews, you have the typical ones saying stuff like bad story and too many ads. And just like the last game, this one also has a 4.4 with over a thousand ratings. Who plays this stuff? Let alone give it a high review. Oh man, this game is so nuanced and atmospheric with great gameplay. I give it a 5 star. An interesting footnote that I noticed as well is that this game got updated a few weeks ago after a year long hiatus. So I guess it's good to know that they're fixing the game. I guess. And with that, we now have reviewed the last game. Thank you, Mohammed, for this amazing masterpiece. Alright, and that's basically all the games I had. And wow, these games were... Yeah, they were something. Okay, but seriously, these games don't really have a point of existing. Roblox is free and isn't even that physically demanding to run. The only reason why I think you play these games is if you are physically banned from playing Roblox by your parents and this is your only option. But if that's not the case, then just go play Roblox. Don't play these pieces of garbage. But yeah, that's about all I have to say. Thank you for watching, like this video I guess, and I'll see you sometime in the future. Goodbye.